Well, today I'm presenting some research that I've been working on for about the past three years. Uh, I work in single photon detection, and I'm developing a detector that our lab team has developed that's a novel single photon detector. Most single photon detectors that are number, uh, photon number resolving, which means they can tell you how many photons in the detector, work off superconductors, which means once you go above the critical temperature where superconductivity stops, your detector stops working. So we're hoping that ours will actually be able to get single photon resolution up at higher temperatures. Um, I'm here from Millican University present my poster on deflection and uh, the actual flex. Um, basically, in a quick summary, my research is on like just the bending in flats. Basically, it's just it's so they don't bend as much, and where at what points they bend the most, and then figure out where that is, and then figure out what we can learn from it. And my, my work has a chance to be out there. Somebody can walk by, and then from that, they can expand on my work or learn from my work and be cited in different journal articles, uh, even papers and whatnot, and then hopefully can grow into something useful. So the, basically, the research is about characterizing. Uh, we are trying to find the charge of a polymer resin that uh, the company sent to us. Like we are trying to figure out the, what's the charge of the particle they they are preparing. We're from a small college, and we are only the undergrad students. That we don't have graduate students, so only undergrads uh, do research. So here, when I come here and see posters of graduate students and doctorates, it feels really good. I'm from Washington and Lee, and I'm here presenting a poster on um, an analy analytical study of cooperative se sequential adsorption models on Cayley trees <laughs> and their possible applications. The idea of the research was to get an analytical solution to model particle deposition on a substrate. Uh, in this case, we're looking at ionic self-assembly self of monolayers. And so we did that. We used a Cayley tree to approximate a two-dimensional lattice to, um, to get a feel for how particles will adhere to the surface and in what patterns. Well, I'm here from Franklin and Marshall College, and I'm presenting my research on the investigation of optical upconversion of light energy in erbium-doped yttrium oxide nanoparticles by spectral masking of the broadband pump light, which basically um, up, up conversion is a process in which you shine light on a crystal and light of a higher energy comes out. And usually this process is done with light of one wavelength, but we wanted to investigate what would happen if we shined a whole range of wavelengths on it and if that would make the process more efficient. This is huge. I've never been to quite a large meeting like this and it's it just feels so great to be here in front of all these researchers and their cutting edge research. <laughs> We're trying to figure out what happens when you force water into contact with a hydrophobic surface. So you wax your car, it beats up. You throw your car into a lake, it can't beat. So we want to know what happens. So the basic idea is that there's a depletion layer that exists at the interface, and it's just a low-density region. And we're using surface plasma re resonance spectroscopy to try and quantify how large this depletion layer is and how the level of hydrophobicity affects it. It's really wonderful um, having people who have like great careers coming around and talking to us about our, our research. It's really, um, I don't know, it's just really great.